Good morning, kings and queens of the road. Yeah, I'm in the bed. I delivered that load yesterday. Enjoyed it. But everything else that was out there didn't pay worth a fuck. So I decided to come 90 miles back home, which is better than 300. If it don't pay, I'm not playing. I'll go home. So that being said, how in the world that all these companies holler safety first and allow all those trucks that's been in these accidents in the bad weather that wasn't safe they understood the assignment but yet they paid the way for those people to be in harm's way because logically they shouldn't have even sent those loads across under the circumstances, knowing the weather was going to be the way it was, knowing that we're only going to have that type of weather maybe a week or five days every year. And every year, people lose their lives, destroy equipment, and then they want to say, it was the driver's fault. Really? Another form of slavery. They put you out there in the field, chuck cotton, pick beans, and you get bit by a snake. That was the slave's fault. It doesn't <laughs> equate your life. It's just another form of slavery. If you don't treasure your life and you want to listen to your master. Think for yourself, people. Don't put yourself in harm's way. It's not worth it. Power of the drivers. <laughs>